We know that India is more concentrating on manufacturing weapons and various other defense units indigenously and in some field they are more interested to welcome private sectors also. Latest to the list is that the Indian Army has approached the Indian industry to indigenously develop an auxiliary power unit for its fleet of Russian-made T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks. Now what is this auxiliary power unit? Auxiliary power unit is a small engine or powered device on a vehicle that provides energy for functions other than the propulsion. Auxiliary power unit also help not only to conserve the life of the main engine but also reduce the thermal and acoustic signatures when deployed in specific situations. So how many auxiliary power units are required for the T-90 and T-72 tanks? The Army's requirement is for 3,257 auxiliary power units, which include 1,657 units for the T-90 tanks and 1,600 units for the older T-72 tanks. And these are for the mainstay of the mechanized forces. An auxiliary power unit is commonly found on large aircraft and naval ships as well as some large land vehicles. Though not commonly found, the concept of APU on tanks dates back to World War II when these were mounted on the American Sherman tanks. According to the Army's requirements, the APU should be able to concurrently operate the gunner, the commander and the driver sites. Not only this, it should also operate the fire control system, radio sets, internal communication systems, the navigation aids and also charge batteries when the main engine is switched off. The auxiliary power unit should be able to function for a stretch of 6 hours at a time in temperature ranging from minus 50 to 45 degrees Celsius and also at an altitude ranging up to 16,000 feet. Since the APU would be mounted on the exterior, it would also be required to be waterproof up to a depth of 5 meters to enable deep folding by the tank. The auxiliary power unit would cater to power requirements when deployed in the surveillance mode during battle and during breaks or layovers in training. At present, the main engine has to be kept running to operate the systems even if the tank is stationary. Besides reducing wear and tear of the main engine, the APU would increase the tank's stealth capabilities since the noise and heat emission would be much lower. Not only this, the Army is also looking at developing solar-powered auxiliary power units for armored vehicles. So this was an update on Indian Army's plan in manufacturing the auxiliary power unit indigenously and by involving private sectors. Thanks for watching. I'll upload another video with a new defense update later. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it. And also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.